What is good, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk tapping back in with another one, man. And you see this dude pictured in this mugshot who was uh, just recently arrested two days ago in Fresno, California. And the media is roasting this, man. They're going in on him. And you know why? Because he is an aspiring rapper. But the media calls him a fake rapper. The media and the police they didn't say aspiring rapper they said he's a fake ass rapper and we arrested his fake ass with some fake money and fake guns or props whatever you want to call them uh to shoot rap videos and on top of all that guess what his name is as a rapper his name is money bags so the the police and media are having a, a fun time reporting on this one they're like, we we arrested this fake ass goofball, fake rapping ass, money bags, fake money having money bags and fake guns and whatnot. You know what I mean? Um, but they did a kind of bad job reporting on exactly what happened. You know what I mean? Um, you know how it goes with uh, the court of law and American justice system and everything like that. It's all allegations, innocent until proven guilty. But, you know, a lot of times based on uh you know what's reported evidence and things like that you can get a good idea of what's go what happened what uh you know allegedly but in this situation like i don't know i guess they were just so taken back by how funny this was to them you know that the man's name was money bags and he's got fake money that they really didn't fill us in on the rest of the facts of what happened you know what i mean all they're saying is that they spoke to a woman that may have been a victim Wednesday night. They didn't say like what she was a victim of. I'm guessing maybe it was some kind of domestic incident because uh, they ended up pulling them over Thursday in the a.m. And it's they're saying it was to check on the welfare of a child. So I don't know. You know, it, it kind of sounds like they're saying Maybe that was his baby's mom or his girlfriend or something. They had some kind of fight, some kind of argument, and then he dipped off and left with the kid. I don't know, you know, because they say we pulled him over to check the welfare of a child, but they didn't end up saying the kid was OK. All they say is we found a bunch of fake money and guns and uh, he turned out to have a warrant out of L.A. for a parole violation. So we took him in custody and uh, no additional charges were pressed. So I don't know. You know what I mean? They just kind of didn't really uh you know write the the alleged incident up that well like i said to the to the police and the journalists here the story doesn't really seem to be what happened they're just really really loving talking about this fake money and fake guns but what do you guys think of that man um do you guys think this guy's a goof for that do you clown him for that are you catching any laughs you know what i mean we know a lot of these rappers are out here um you know having fake weapons or fake money in the music videos props you know what i'm saying um yo real talk people use that prop money in the streets and stuff like that to rob people they got prop everything prop pills fake weed fake everything now you know what i mean it's all available uh to purchase online if you can find the right spot but uh we know a lot of rappers are out here doing that there's also a lot of rappers who say you know warning everything in this video is a prop uh because then they can you know not be arrested or whatever like if you sometimes are they really props we don't know if you guys remember that dude uh from the asian boys what's his name stupid young who went viral on no jumper when he did the you know asian crip boys gangs of uh long beach california vlog that went crazy crazy viral stupid young ended up getting arrested shortly after that because he was still on some kind of paper um you know parole probation or something like that and he shot another video or was in some kind of blog or vlog or something with uh, a weapon that he says was like an antique and didn't even really fire. But uh, because they did not have that that like warning in the beginning, these this or whatever you want to call it, like everything you're about to see in this is just props for ent entertainment purposes or whatever. Like the police ran down on him and arrested him for that uh specifically he says that they told him like if you would have put that jump off in the beginning we wouldn't be having this conversation but you didn't so now your ass is going to jail right at the height of his success and all the good momentum and attention he was getting from going viral that went down but 
I don't know, I'm getting a little bit off topic. Back to Devin Watson, a.k.a. Mr. Moneybags. Do you guys uh, clown on him for that? Do you think he's a goof? Uh, what's your thoughts on rappers using fake money in videos and stuff like that? I mean, I know a lot of rappers do it. I don't really get why. I don't know why it has to be all about floss and money. And uh, just in general, people who are like very braggadocious. I don't know. It's just kind of cornballish to me. I don't know. Like, but there is some people that that's the part of their persona, almost like the million dollar man or something like how Slick Rick was always flossing on people hard and stuff like that. Like, I thought that was cool. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's just who Slick Rick was. But a lot of times people just want to brag about what they got. And then in certain situations, people ain't even got that much. They got, you know, things you're supposed to have in life, like a car, an apartment and a job. And they think that they're the truth, you know. But, hey, I ain't hating on no one. I ain't mad at no one. We're just talking here. But I want to know your guys' thoughts on this situation. And what do you guys think about what went down with him and this uh, woman? Are you kind of taking this in the same way as me that you think it was his BM and it was some kind of alleged uh, domestic incident? Because, like I said, all the police wanted to know, us all to know is, Moneybags is a fake ass rapper with fake money. And what do y'all think about that prop gun? Isn't it crazy the way the handles all taped up? Like they try to make that like old revolver or whatever it is. I'm no gun expert, but I done seen a few in the hood over my years taped up like that halfway falling apart. And you're like, damn, this thing got a couple bodies on it. Like they tried to go for that look with this prop gun. Am I right or what? So hit the comments with your thoughts on it all. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to sub to the channel. If you're new, this is Jay Coffee Talk. We talk music, news, sports, current events, and much, much more daily on the channel. And make sure you tune in uh, nighttime. You know what I mean? We do the live show where you can call in chop it with coffee you know let me know what's on your mind or what you think about different news stories or whatever and uh follow me on social media twitter instagram flock with me i'm out of here peace